my top five hurricane survival tips that I hope you never have to use. I'm Rachel Worrell. I'm a real estate agent here in Northwest Florida. Let's go ahead and get started. Just a little background. Category five, Hurricane Michael made landfall. Actually, the east side hit Mexico Beach and then uh, Panama City, uh, Tyndall Air Force Base got the west side. Hurricane Michael, it was very devastating, but I've never seen anything like Hurricane Michael before and I hope I never do ever again, but I did learn a lot. Five quick tips on what you should do before a hurricane and after a hurricane. Tip is to go around your house and your property and take a short video. Keep the videos small so that you can email yourself the videos and easily share them. Uh, good pictures and video of what your home looks like just in case you have any damage. I had neighbors who completely lost their home. They were on a cruise and while they were on a cruise, they had their daughter go to their house before Hurricane Michael hit. She videoed their whole house, thankfully, because their house was a total loss and they were just able to give that to their insurance company. My second uh, piece of advice is to prepare, okay? Uh, even if you are gonna evacuate, go ahead and get the phone number for your insurance company, uh, have your policy number, your documents on hand so that you are able to get in touch with your insurance company uh, right after the storm takes place because uh, the longer you wait, the further in line you get. If you are gonna stay, make sure that you have fresh water. Fill up your bathtubs with water and that is not for drinking. In case any main water lines are broken, you need to be able to flush toilets. We were without running water for a few weeks after Hurricane Michael. We didn't have to live in our house, thankfully. We, yeah, the people that, that did stay had to make do with, with what water they had. Also, fix the flat. It's really important. I think all of these roofing nails, there's debris and tires, so you'll get a lot of flat tires. So have a portable air pump and fix a flat. I can't tell you how helpful that is right after a storm. Third tip is go around your house. If you're evacuating, even if you're staying, but go around your house and close all of the doors the indoor doors in your house. Two reasons for that. One, that if a window does blow out in one of your bedrooms or rooms, if you have the indoor door closed, it helps mitigate the damage. Uh, for instance, one of my windows in my guest bedroom blew out, so all of the wind-driven rain stayed contained in that one room. Anywhere where you can close the door, do it. It helps mitigate damage. Oh, it helps keep the pressure in your house at an even level. That open windows and airflow through your house, it can actually cause roof damage. So just keep that in mind. Go through the house, shut all the doors. Fourth tip is for after the storm. I didn't find this out until after Hurricane Michael when all of our cell phone towers were taken out. And I have Verizon when all of their towers were destroyed. A few people, if you had AT&T, could use their cell phone. It was kind of spotty, but I learned that any car with OnStar satellite service connect to the internet and do internet calls over that satellite in the car. It doesn't matter if you don't pay for it now, you can activate it. Actually, OnStar for our area actually waived the fees. That, that's that was huge for us. I you know call my dad and say, hey, I'm okay. that's something I didn't know. I hope you guys don't ever have to use that, but in the event, OnStar Satellite. Fifth and final tip is after the storm, before you start cleaning up and mitigating the damage, make sure that you go through take video and pictures of all the damage. I had a lot of wind dri driven rain in my house. Um, I had pictures of other people's kids in my, in my living room, just all the windows, all the houses getting destroyed, but just take pictures of that. Do what you can do to mitigate the damage. Get the water out of the house, bleach, I mean, Florida, moisture equals mold. Make sure that you do all that you can to keep the damage as minimal as possible until you can get there's licensed bedded contractors to come and help you, you know, replace your roof or your windows. Hope you found this video helpful and, you know, again, I hope no one needs to use any of these tips. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.